Weather forecasting has quite a history. In ancient times, rain, snow and fine weather were ruled by the gods. The Chinese and the Greeks were the first to precisely observe weather and try to understand it. Since then, techniques have evolved, and so have meteorologists. Based on fluid mechanics, very complex equations are derived. These equations are turned into hundreds of thousands of lines of computer code to create a numerical model which runs on a supercomputer. Then we observe the weather situation in real time to collect data which are assimilated into the model. It can now predict how the weather situation will evolve. The forecasters then use the results to deliver the weather forecasts. Simple, right? Knowing what the weather will be like tomorrow can be useful and even life-saving. Because of climate change, some extreme weather conditions are becoming increasingly severe. Having a precise weather forecast is an important challenge for society. The atmosphere knows no borders. Meteorologists work in teams. Many international collaborations have emerged. In Europe, ECMWF provides global forecasts for the medium and long term. Meanwhile, UMETSAT exploits the operational meteorological satellites and UMETNET coordinates the in-situ observation programs. In Europe, the short-term models on limited areas are developed by consortiums such as Aladdin, LACE and Heerlum. From now on, they are merging to form a new consortium. 26 countries will share and capitalize on their expertise to develop one model. Together, they will enrich it, tune it, give life to it. The history of meteorology is still being written. Each day, we become better at predicting rain or shine.